I'm John Podesta. Uh, I am the chair of the Center for American Progress, which is a Washington-based, uh, D.C.-based uh, think tank that works on progressive policy uh, and tries to communicate with the American public about what a uh, progressive government could do to improve their lives. Uh, I and uh, I've been involved in working around politics for most of my life, and somehow I haven't gotten cynical over it. I, a little later, left college and, and joined the national staff of the McCarthy campaign. And for me, it was, it was an interesting experience because, uh, you know, as, as I said, I grew up, you know, really in a— my dad didn't drive. We didn't have a car. I was, I was growing up in the northwest side of Chicago. Hadn't really hardly been uh, out of the city uh, before, I, before uh, you, know, d you know, during my uh, growing up period. I think we had maybe— taken one or two vacations to, to a state park in Illinois. That was about the extent of my American travels. Uh, and uh, so it was, it was an interesting experience to travel the country and work in primary after primary when the country wasn't quite so homogenized, when, you know, Nebraska was really different than Illinois and Oregon was really, uh, you know, out in a very different culture, very different place. Um, you know, I really think that the Clinton presented what was a progressive vision and really was able to accomplish a lot uh, for the American people. That's why they stuck with him, stuck with him through impeachment, et cetera. And he was uh, somebody who always focused on the challenge of building the middle class, making people's lives better. How did government work to support that? What were the, you know, he was an idea-based politician. And, you know, it was just, it was really, you know, tremendous experience to work for him, to, to, to be his chief of staff, and to see what could be accomplished uh, across a very broad range of issues. That's being challenged in, uh, in the political campaign as we speak, uh, particularly the, the question of, trying to provide everyone with affordable, quality health care uh, in the U.S., uh, and trying to do it in a way that brought overall health care costs down uh, so that the economy could thrive and business could thrive, uh, but most, I think, importantly, so that people could lead healthier lives. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, that, that has proven to be a politically difficult uh, journey uh, for the president, but I think he's proud of of the fact that he took it and was the first Democratic president. Uh, this, you know, this goes back to, to Roosevelt, but particularly for, since President Truman trying to get this job done. He did it. We'll see whether the Supreme Court um, uh, up upholds the decisions that the Congress and the president made. Um, I think it was a fight worth fighting, and I think that, that if, 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 if the court does uphold it and he is reelected. I think people will look back at this as a watershed moment uh, and an important moment of providing people a basic guarantee that of, of health care in the society.